So I like to watch a lot of superhero TV shows. You know my favorite one is Smallville. But one pet peeve that I have that every superhero show seems to commit is when they marry Sue a character and that character becomes more powerful than the main character. Like, I watch that show to see the main character save people. I do not want to see them outdone by someone else. I absolutely hate it. Smallville was very guilty of doing this because they refused to stray from the show's original parameters of no tights, no flights. Clark was constantly being outdone by somebody else. Like anytime another Kryptonian came to Earth to challenge the supposed last son of Krypton, they would end up literally flying circles around Clark. Like, why would people who have been here for five minutes instantly get all of their powers when Clark, who's been here his whole life, got one new power every year? Then they brought on Supergirl and had her and freaking Jor-El insult Clark and his abilities on his own show. In the final season, they even tried to act like Clark you know, I want to save everybody, including Doomsday Clark, was too dark to save the world from dark side. So Kara had to do it. Kara, who came on the show wrecking shit for no reason. Kara, with a perpetual attitude. Kara, who couldn't tell that Lex was evil. She was the better choice to go up against dark side than Clark. Right. The Flash was also guilty of this. I love The Flash for its diverse and intelligent character. When they started handing out powers to everyone else, at first it was fine. Barry could definitely use the help. Some of his big bads were ridiculously powerful. But then you have Celeste, who somehow received her powers after childbirth. I don't understand where they came from or how they kept evolving. Eventually, she became overpowered and they were depending on her to save the day, not The Flash. But the thing that took the cake for me was the series finale when they brought back a whole gang of villains. Each one had taken the whole team united together to defeat before. But now, somehow each team member was able to defeat them one-on-one? -on -one? Seriously, dude? Another offshoot of this pet peeve is not just when people are more powerful than a superhero, but when they reject the hero's leadership. Like, it's their show. They are the leader. You need to learn how to follow. This happens on The Flash and Arrow all the time. The character that the show is named after would have a theory, and everybody would disagree with them, won't support them, kind of gaslight them. But the facts are still on Birch's side. Neither crime scene has any direct evidence tying him to it. No DNA, no fingerprints, no witnesses. That are still alive. Barry, you gotta admit, Birch has motive. Lost forever, like Vincent Sobel. Where was the Green Arrow when he needed saving? Your team walked into a trap. If you came with us, Vincent might still be alive. Jeremiah was with Cadmus a long time. And we have never faced an enemy more dangerous, so we owe it to ourselves to look at every angle. You sound just like him. Like who? Monel. Then it turns out the main character was right all along. Side note, not a superhero, but this would happen with Harry Potter in every freaking book. They constantly gaslit Harry. And by the time they got to the end of the book, when it was revealed that Harry was right all along, no one would apologize to him. But I digress. On these superhero shows, they would reject their leadership when it came to plans on how to defeat the big bad. Saving Ramsey's my call. And it's a bad call. But it's the one I made. Sometimes as a leader, you have to make tough calls in order to serve the greater good. And of course, this would just set them back and give the villain more time to gather more power and make them even harder to defeat. I get that everyone has an opinion. And on The Flash, just about everyone was a genius. But on shows like Smallville, The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, there was a main protagonist and they were the default leader because it was their show. If I wanted to watch a show where everyone's opinions mattered equally, I would watch an ensemble show like Legends of Tomorrow. But when I tune into Smallville, I only care about Clark's opinion. When I tune into The Flash, 
I only care about Barry's opinion. When I tune into Arrow, I only care about Oliver's opinion. And when I tune into Supergirl, the only opinion I care about is Kara's. Everybody else is there for backup. But these are just some of the things I hate about superhero shows. What are some of your superhero pet peeves? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if there is a movie, show, book, or topic that you would like to see me talk about. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to know the next time I upload or go live.